so let's get into our Python worksheets. So we've all been uh, anxiously awaiting this, and uh, so so we're gonna and it's here. So we're gonna talk about how we're gonna use these. We're gonna show you a few things, um, and I will say right now, right up front, that uh, we're actually impressed. Uh, there's some really great things here, uh, but I will tell you that they're probably about teenage years, maybe early teenage years. So they're, and Snowflake is adding and enhancing and fixing and doing things to this just like furiously. So there's a lot of things going on right now. And so, uh, you know, stay up on, on all the new stuff that's coming along. So first of all, Python worksheets, what are Python worksheets? So just like the SQL worksheets, let us do all the SQL in Snowflake it, with the Python worksheet, in snow site they allow us to do things with python right in snowpark python right in the uh, snowflake ui um, natively um, and so we can it makes it much much easier for us to to build some python and do do things like that um, right in the in in the worksheet itself so we can develop we can test our code we don't have to install dependent libraries you know we don't have to do all of those types of things so some of the advantages, key benefits, right? Seamless integra integration with Snowflake for data processing. So lots of things that we can do. Although I will warn you, and we're gonna talk about this a little bit, for this, this is actually gonna be a lot of fun um, for all you folks that come from the, the SQL data side of things. You know, we've had that discussion before in some of our pro talks. And in Tricity, we've got the people come from the programming side and from the data side, you know, and. And now with everything that's going on in Snowflake, uh, that gap is being bridged. Um, but when you're coming from the, the SQL side, from the data side, um, there are some things that, uh, that are kind of interesting. We'll point those out. One of the things is the data types in Snowflake, um, and data types in Python, how we work with those. We're gonna look at some of that today. So. There's no need for a local development environment. It's a beautiful thing. We have access to the API libraries for manipulation, for transformation. The, in the, um, the worksheets, we've got autocomplete, we've got highlighting, we've got linting, we've got you know, a bunch of things in there um, that we expect from an ID um, and being able to write code in there. So there's some really cool things there. Some of the key limitations, there's no support for levels lower than, log levels lower than warning uh, by default. So we don't have any of that. There's no support for breakpoints uh, or running only a portion of the code. So we can't go in there and say, all right, run to this and, and uh, be able to do some of that debug type work there. Um, no support right now for images or web pages. So, um, you know, no graphs, uh, botly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry, you're not working with that right now. Hey, folks, thanks for checking out this cut from our broadcast. To see the full show, click on the link in the video description. Also, check out our Learning Center, which has white papers, events, live streams, and short explainer videos on a wide range of data management topics. And of course, if you like our content, please share it on LinkedIn. That really means a lot to us. Thanks again for checking us out, and we hope to see you in our next broadcast.